Hey everyone, this is Steve from Publish Press, and if you're looking for publishing plugins for WordPress, you're in the right place. We create plugins that allow you to do really flexible things with the publishing setup on your site, and this video is going to be one example. We had a Publish Press user ask us an interesting question. They said, Can I set up my WordPress site so that users from Department A can only edit one page? And users from department B can only edit a different page. Users from department C edit another page and so on. Yes, that is possible with the Publish Press plugins. To make that work, we're going to need the Publish Press Permissions plugin and also the Publish Press Capabilities plugin. If you have both of those installed on your site, then you can follow along with this guide. We're going to go to Capabilities. And what we're going to do is create some users who have very limited permissions, except for editing the pages that we give them access to. And so we're going to make a copy of the very basic role in WordPress, which is the subscriber. The subscriber has very limited permissions. So we're going to make sure that the subscriber role is loaded and we're going to copy the subscriber role. So in this case, I'm going to call it Department A. I'm going to copy that role. And now it's an extra role in addition to the WordPress defaults. Let me repeat that a couple of times. I'll make a role called Department B. And one more time, I'll make a role Department C. And what I'm going to do is go to the users area on my WordPress site. And I have several different accounts set up here. We have users in different roles, A, B, and C. If your users are not in these roles, you can edit them and choose the right role for them here. So maybe we have Sarah Smith. She doesn't have a role on the site at the moment. I can edit her account and I can put her into department A. And if you take a look at the users, we have users in each of these departments that we can test with now, A, B, and C. Go to the pages area, and you're going to be looking to click edit for each of the departments, and scroll down on the page. We're looking for this area underneath it, which is called permissions, read this page, plus permissions, edit this page, and permissions, select this page as a parent, which means people can create sub pages underneath it. What we're really interested in here is the ability to read and edit this particular page. So if you open this up, we're going to be looking at a default yes option for all of these. So if any WordPress user role has access to create pages or edit pages, then they can edit this particular page. What we want to do is go in here and block other departments from editing this particular page. And if I scroll down to the edit area, I'm going to do the same thing again. By default, although almost everyone is able to read this content, you'll notice that the permissions are very different for editing. So only editors and also administrators have access to edit this page. I'm also going to give department A access to edit this page. So this permissions plugin allows you to control who's able to read this page. By default, it is everyone except for department B and C. And this plugin also allows you to control who can edit this page. By default, it's department A, the editor role, and administrators as well. So I'm gonna click update after making those changes. And I'm going to go back to the pages area 
And I'm going to repeat that for department B here. So for department B, yes. And I'm going to block the other departments from reading this particular page. And when it comes to editing, I'm going to set department B to enabled. And let me repeat that for department C as well. So department C is going to be the only one of these departments that can read this page. And when it comes to editing, they're going to be able to edit the department C page. Okay, so we're all set. What we need to do now is test the user accounts that we have set up. I have a plugin installed, which allows me to just click a link and easily test different user accounts. However, if you want to, you can either log out or log in again as one of these users, or you can open up a new browser. I'm going to test department A and Sarah Smith. You'll see that we have very limited permissions when it comes to access inside WordPress now. This is a very locked down role, but under pages, she does have access to the department A post. In this case, my admin account is currently editing it, but Sarah should be able to take over and edit and make changes to this particular page. You'll notice that she doesn't even see the other pages. The Publish Press Permissions plugin has automatically hidden them from it to make it a cleaner experience for users. These low-level users are not even able to see posts unless they're able to edit them. Let me go back to the admin account and I'll test the other users as well quickly. Department B, Bob Smith. Let me go to pages. And again, I'm currently editing it from a few seconds ago, but the only post that users in the department B role can see is the department B page. And one more time, we should be pretty confident this is working by now. Let's go to Jane. And there we go. Jane is in department C and all she can see is the department C page. So this is just a quick introduction to the power of the Publish Press plugins. If you want more tutorials like this, and you want to get the pro version of these plugins, which has even more permissions and excellent support, head over to publishpress.com. We wish you all the best with your WordPress publishing.